Today we're going to be doing a tour on the Kennedy Art Center and we have invited the general contractor Whiting Turner and Boston Properties and the people from Hydrotech to do a initial uh, product review and to see what all we can do with vegetation. Now this is one of the most beautiful projects that uh, I've ever worked on, also one of the most time consuming projects we've ever worked on. Um, this complexity of this crazy curve that you see behind me is actually uh, yeah, it's just asking everybody to do something that they've never done before. From the people that are doing the waterproofing, uh, from the people that are doing the engineering, from people that are doing green roofs, green walls. Um, you know, it's just been a crazy, crazy adventure. So, to give you kind of an idea of what it looks like, you can see the background. Um, you can see that on this side over here, it is 100% flat, and then it slowly migrates into a corkscrew shape, and then it goes 100% vertical on the far end. Uh, that is just a super cool scenario that actually is very very difficult to achieve because water over here wants to gravitationally fall down yet over here where there's the flat section the rain basically just slowly settles into the soil and gets absorbed so the soil column over here which is about over here on this side is about 16 feet and that makes um, the water basically too heavy and the water will always just kind of fall down to the bottom so we need to artificially irrigate that section so this complete uh, green um, yeah, roof wall combination has seven different irrigation zones and these seven different irrigation zones, they get different water cycles. Um, we do uh, fertigation in this section and then regular water in that section because that doesn't need as much fertilizer as uh, plants in a vertical setting might. Now we do micro burst of uh, watering. So we basically um, minimize watering for the vegetation there is very little water needed, and especially with sedums, because they are plants that if you overwater and over fertilize, they would just simply grow way too fast. And that's what we're trying to prevent. So, um, just wanted to show you this. Very, very cool project designed by Stephen Hall and uh, Edward, uh, Edmund Hollander, uh, landscape architects. Uh, Jeffrey Valentino is the guy who designed this crazy beast. And uh, well, hats off to everybody involved. Hydrotech, James Meyer, Semper Green, Moorings Maintenance, and I am sure I'm forgetting a few more, but uh, one hell of a project.